When it comes to martial arts training, I feel that if, you, if you're serious about it, you're in a constant state of improvement. These improvements should come through upping your skills, and this comes from uh, tightening up techniques. So when talking about Muay Thai or kickboxing, um, I feel that one of the most important things is getting your roundhouse kick nice and right. Now going to classes, doing the, the pad work, hitting the bags, these are things that are gonna make this happen. You can definitely develop the technique and gain the skills you require to have a good Muay Thai roundhouse or kickboxing roundhouse. But you should always like, look for additional uh, means of improving these techniques. You know, some of it is stretching, some of it is like shadow boxing and, and reflex drills and so forth. But what I'm showing in this video, what I want to talk about in this video is something that I used to do a lot more of several years ago and I don't know why I ever stopped. But on a whim, I just recently started doing it again and I realized how beneficial these accessory exercises can be for your Muay Thai or kickboxing. So I'm gonna do this for a week and really just share what it does for my, uh, my roundhouse kicks and for my martial arts overall. And my fitness, because it's gonna improve my fitness. So what these are, these are like um, exercise bands. You can get them on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description. So day one, I throw these things on, I start kicking and I'm exhausted immediately. Like, like not even 10 seconds. I, I say maybe five kicks in, I, I, I'm winded. I, I don't think my breathing is right. Um, I'm having a hard time balancing, which is all the things I wanna feel because if that's what it's like at the start, I can only imagine what improvements I'm gonna have towards the end. So I'm, man, day one was hard and I basically only did it for five minutes, I think, if that. Just trying to get you know, how, the technique right, like how am I gonna kick with these things on my, on my ankles without like ripping myself off the ground or losing my balance or even getting the kick high enough. Making sure that because I'm trying fighting these bands that I don't lose my technique in the process. Day two, I was shocked actually how quick I adapted and I was able to do the kicks and do the drills the way I wanted to do them. Um, I, I doubled my time. I think I trained with them for about 10, maybe 15 minutes but doing different types of exercises, um, you know, with my knee, not only with my kicks, but with my knees and with my um, blocking and so forth. And just moving around the mat, throwing different types of kick combinations, you know, primarily of course, the roundhouse kick. And I really felt those, but I, I can't believe that from one day to the next, I had such a leap. I guess it was just a matter of all your instincts and techniques and everything you already know just kicking in. You just had to find your balance. This is the start of day three, and my legs are pretty sore. Not super sore like you would get from a hard leg day, but they're sore enough. I feel the soreness in the right place. So I feel like they're probably doing what they're supposed to be doing from a uh, muscle growth, muscle stamina perspective. And like I said, the leap from day one to day two was already significant. I can't wait to see what day three does as far as like me already having my balance and my kicking heights already increasing and so forth. Day three felt like I took a step backwards in all aspects. This was primarily due to it, exhaustion. My legs were just spent and they were sore and tight. The soreness was primarily in my calves, but the tightness was, was mostly in my hamstrings. My quads and glutes felt just fine, but my legs felt extra heavy. Just, just that exhaustion you feel when you've like kind of on the brink of overtraining. So I peeled back a bit and only did about five minutes of uh, kicks with the bands. Whereas on day two, I felt really good and did about 10 minutes on the bands. I'm realizing going into day four that doing this every, this isn't one of those things that you should probably be doing every day. Day four, I was back, man. I did have to do some rolling and some serious stretching, but my legs did not feel um, heavy anymore and they did feel stronger and my kicks felt much stronger by extension. Man, when you get started, there's just this initial exhaustion for the first couple minutes. In day four, I still haven't quite shook that completely off, but I'm kicking higher with the bands on. And as you can see, my balance is much better. This is because of my foundational leg being much, much stronger at this point. I mean, guys, this is full body engagement. I'm having to use my whole body to balance 
and be strong and throw these kicks with proper technique while fighting against these resistance bands. So day four, I was recovered and feeling stronger. So day five, we are wrapping this thing up and um, it has been eye-opening. The soreness in my legs has really dissipated. It's, it's just very minimal. I think I was reaching a point of overtraining in day three, but uh, turned a corner in four and then on day five. And now I they just feel solid, they feel strong. And they feel strong in all the right places. Primarily on the outside, like around the IT band and my hips feel good. Uh, my ankles really feel good. My calves feel strong all around from top to bottom. Um, my legs just feel stronger. They even feel more balanced just walking. So I didn't expect that kind of benefit. As far as my kicks, man, um, I feel strong in my whip on my kicking leg and I feel strong in my foundational leg as far as my balance and my ability to pivot. So beyond just leveling up my kicks, I gained a lot of strength and uh, balance in my legs and by extension, some core strength because again, you don't realize that you use your core primarily when you're balancing yourself. So of course there's benefits to my core. So man, this is so much more than just uh, doing a drill to make your kicks better, stronger, faster. This is great for your legs and just your overall fitness. This can be great for your strength and conditioning. So I'm very, very happy about the benefits of this uh, band kicking drill. Now, what I will say is doing back-to-back -back days is probably not the smartest thing, just again, because like any other muscle group, you're gonna overwork them. Uh, so I'm probably gonna switch to a routine of maybe doing this three times a week. I'd say between five and 10 minutes. 10 minutes on, you know, seemed like overkill, uh, but if I could push it, I did. If I'm doing it three times a week, I might push more towards 10 minutes. Um, I'd say a minimum of five minutes of just various kicking techniques with the bands on. Three times a week should be sufficient. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider adding this uh, exercise to your training regimen. Please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.